This is Lesson 12 Homework, Module 7, Grade 2. Write your name. We're going to solve these using the airway, a number bond, or a tape diagram. Kevin had 100 cents. He spent three dimes, three nickels, and four pennies on a balloon. How much money does he have left? So here's a tape diagram. Now these are all word problems, so we're gonna R, D, W, all these. Read them, draw a picture, write an equation, an answer statement. So here's his hundred cents. That's what he had. Here's what he spent. He spent three dimes. That's 30. Three nickels. That's three fives for 15. And four pennies. And that's what he spent on the balloon. And this. That's what he had left. L for what he had left. So, whatever this is, 30 and 15, 45, and four more, 49. So 49 plus that, that's 100. 100 minus 49 equals how much he has left. And I can see that's almost 50. So if I thought of this as 101 minus 50, I'd have 51 left. That's a little bit easier to solve mentally. So Kevin. Had, has 51 cents left. Colin bought a postcard for 45 cents. He gave the cashier a dollar. How much change did he receive? Change is what you get back. He gives the cashier a dollar bill. That's a hundred cents. Now, the cost of the postcard is 45 cents. And then change is the extra that you paid that you're going to get back from the cashier. So he gave him too much. And the cashier is going to give him back the difference between the 45 cents for the postcard and the dollar he gave him. So that's just 100 minus 45. We could use the arrow way to solve that. We can't do it in our heads. 100 minus 40 gets us to 60. Then we subtract the 5. 55. Right, that was our unknown. So, Colin got 55 cents in change. Eileen spent 75 cents of her dollar at the market. How much money does she have left? So it's very similar to Colin, except the number's a little bit different. But she has money. She has a dollar. That's 100 cents. She's going to spend. That's what she had. That's her dollar. D for dollar. She's going to spend. This is what she spent. 75 cents and then this is what she's going to have left 
know if you know your quarters, 25, 50, 75, you know it takes another 25 cents to make a dollar. You might just say dollar minus 75 equals 25. And write our answer statement. Eileen has 25 an H not an N, 25 cents left. That's our first page. The puzzle Casey wants costs a dollar. She has six nickels, a dime, and 11 pennies. How much more money does she need to buy the puzzle? So she doesn't have enough money to buy the puzzle. The whole puzzle costs a hundred cents because that's the same as a dollar. She has six nickels, a dime, and eleven pennies. So the six nickels, that's six fives. We can count that by five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 30 is six fives, 30. In nickels, the dime is another 10. That's the six nickels, that's the dime. 11 pennies, we'll just call that an 11. And then she needs, this is the how much more. So we're gonna figure out this. And this will be the difference between 100 cents and this put together. So 30, 40, and 11 is 51. So we've got to figure 100 minus 51 equals, and now if it was uh, 100 minus 50, that would be 50. And subtract one more from 50. 49, you can think of it that way. You could write it out the arrow way if you wanted to. And uh, But what matters is that Casey needs 49 cents more. Garrett found 19 cents in the sofa and 34 cents under his bed. How much more money will he need to find to have a dollar? So uh, he's got, we can, let's use a number bond for this one just for a little variety. He needs to have a dollar. which is the same as a hundred cents. So in his sofa, he found 19 cents. Under his bed, 34 cents. Cents, that's cents. And this is how much more he's gonna need to finish the dollar. I don't know how much that is, but we'll figure it out. We'll use the arrow way. We'll start with the 19 and add the 34. So 19, and if we add the 30, that's 49. And then plus four, 53. And then now we have to get from 53 cents to the dollar. So let's add seven and get to the next 10, which is 60. And then 40 more cents will get us all the way to the 100 cents we need for a dollar. So we're gonna, that means we're gonna have to add 47 more cents. That's gonna be 47 cents. Garrett. needs 
47 cents more. Kelly has 38 fewer cents than Molly. Molly has a dollar. How much money does Kelly have? So let's see, Molly has, Kelly has fewer, so Molly has more. So Molly's gonna get the big piece of tape and that's the dollar, which is 100 cents. And here's, that's Molly's money. This is Kelly's money. Now, I don't know how much Kelly has because it doesn't say that, but it does says it's 38 fewer. So this is the fewer right here. That's the fewer, it's 38 fewer. So we can see we just need to subtract the 38 from the 100. And we could do that the arrow way. We could do it with uh, vertical subtraction. We could use any method we wanted to, to subtract it. Now that we have this tape diagram, we can just see that we're subtracting. And that's really all the, that's all it's for is to show what our strategy is. So we could do this. Uh, we could use the tape diagram subtraction method for this. We could do that too. But let's just go with 100 cents minus 30 that gets us to 70 cents and then we can subtract the 8 cents and that gets us to 62 so that means this has to be 62 that means Kelly has and our picture helps us remind us that's the fewer what is it our the questions asking us for is how, how much money does Kelly have Kelly has 62 cents and then finally here we have Mario has 41 more cents than Ryan Mario has a dollar how much money does Ryan have so Mario has 41 more than Ryan Mario has more and this is gonna be similar to the one we just did because here's Mario and Mario has a dollar dollars a hundred cents how much money does Ryan have well we know right here Ryan here's Ryan how much does he have I don't know how much he has that's what we have to find out but we know that whatever he has Mario is 42 cents 41 cents more so again, we're trying to find the difference between the 100 cents and the 41. And so that's, we can subtract to find that out. Obviously, if we added these, we'd have something that'd be much longer. And it would be way too big because it has to be less than, a, less than 100. So 141, it can't be that. If you add them, you've got to subtract. Uh, 100 minus... Minus 40 gets us to 60 and then now this is you can do this in your head and and that's fine but you have to write down the steps that you do that you do it in your head and you that's how you're gonna do it you're gonna subtract the 40 and then you subtract the 1 minus 1 59 cents Nine cents.